Welcome back. You're watching Discover Wisconsin. We're in Sturgeon Bay aboard the tugboat John Purvis and welcome to the Door County Maritime Museum. The Door County Maritime Museum sits on the working waterfront of Sturgeon Bay. The museum puts the rich history of one of Door County's biggest industries right on display for everyone to experience. Today, I got the chance to talk with the museum's director, Kevin Osgood, about some of the museum's exhibits and learn about Wisconsin's maritime history. Let's check out that tugboat before we head inside. This is the historic tug, John Purvis. You look at her, she doesn't look a day over 100, but she's 102 years old. She was launched in 1919 as the Tug Butterfield, and if you look closely right behind her name Purvis, you can see where Butterfield oh, yeah. is still welded into the hull. And she has an incredible amount of stories to tell. If you go on a guided tour, our docents are the same volunteers that worked on restoring her, and they have some oh. amazing stories to tell. The museum started in Door County in 1969. A group of local fishermen and historians got together and built the first Door County Maritime Museum, and then built this building in 1996, which is four galleries right here on the working waterfront. Okay, so the tower is the big new exciting addition. Tell us more about the tower. The tower itself is an all-in 10-story exhibit. It tells the maritime history of Door County from its very beginnings and its geologic formation all the way up to the working port of today. These exhibits have science, technology, engineering, arts, and math all involved. So when a guest comes in, they go to the movie theater and they watch a film, a short film that has 10 chapters about those histories. And then you go to the top and you see the working waterfront of Sturgeon Bay, which is, okay, this is what we have today. And then as you descend via the stairwell, you have each of those chapters to experience as you move through. So you leave that working waterfront and you go to the ninth floor, which is all about the geologic formation and Niagara escarpment and how the glaciers carved out this part of our world and, and why the Great Lakes are here. You descend to the next floor and it's about the people that were here. And then you descend to the next one, it's about mm. the commerce that came with the people and then the navigation that came originally with Native Americans and then with the Europeans when they arrived, and then shipbuilding and recreational boating. And at the very bottom of the tower, which is floor two, is shipwrecks. There are more than 275 shipwrecks just off the coast of Door County, and a large concentration of those are up in Death's Door. But when the French came here, they actually named it Port de Moor, which means Death's Door. They didn't have the National Weather Service and they didn't have satellite technology. So they wouldn't know when a storm was coming up. And we all know what happens on the Great Lakes in the fall is you have those surprise storms. So those lighthouses were literally life and death. That's how people got around on the lakes. That was the only way the captains of schooners knew where they were, where they were going, and where the dangers were. There are 11 lighthouses in Door County. Wow. You can't find 11 lighthouses in this short a mile of shoreline anywhere else in the country. The water defines who we are in Door County. It, it defines everything. For the tourism that comes in today, they're brought in by the, the water. Mm -hmm. And the industries that are here are all about the water, the shipbuilding, a marine travel lift, which builds massive lifts to lift anything from recreational boats to ships out of the water and move them around. There's a lot of industry here around that. So the water truly defines our community here in Door County. What I'm excited about is I feel like spending the day here at the Maritime Museum, I feel like I have like a much better sense about what Door County is. And I can't wait to come back and bring my family and I'll feel like I have much better appreciation for everything that goes on here. Check out our episodes of Discover Wisconsin on our YouTube channel and app. Stay tuned because coming up next, I'm headed to Cambridge to learn about our local traditions in pottery.